much okay, for thank that. Thank you so much, Betty. Okay, so let's uh, continue on with our, our coverage. And um, rights group Haki Africa is this morning releasing a report um, on a study done on extrajudicial killings. The study also incorporates findings on forced disappearances allegedly done by the security agencies uh, that is something that's going to be uh, happening it's actually happening right now but for now we want to uh, talk to uh, Abdi Kadir Ore who is the Wajir West Member of Parliament thank you so much for joining us sir uh, first of all let's talk about this report uh, what is it all about hello Betty yes I can hear you very clearly uh, yes. Yes, talk to us about this uh, latest report on extrajudicial killings. Uh, how severe is the situation? Uh, Betty, uh, th this report, as you clearly said, which is being launched by, uh, by HAC uh, Africa, which is uh, a rights, human rights organization, is um, on uh, extrajudicial killings and disappearances. Uh, uh, unfortunately, as much as uh, the, 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 there is a lot of disappearances and extrajudicial killings, uh, what we usually report is just uh, a tip of the iceberg, and uh, uh, its magnitude is much more than what we usually see. Uh, this is because it's not documented, it's because people have fear, uh, uh, the relatives and the people who are affected. Uh, it's because people are not taken to, to any, uh, po any formal police cells. Uh, they, they are taken to camps and into into uh, forests. So, uh, but 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 uh, the fact of the matter is, uh, there are disappearances, uh, there are extrajudicial killings that happen in this country every day and every hour. You know the places that are you know mostly affected by this, or is it countrywide? W well, it's countrywide. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's countrywide, but uh, the people, the places that are mostly affected are, are, are the coast and uh, the northern part of Kenya. Uh, the, the, that is Wajia, Gariza, Mandera, and, and uh, areas like Turkana, Samburu, the, uh, areas that, that, that are bordering other countries, uh, and uh, 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 where, where uh, the, the, the government forces um, uh, use excessive force. Uh, people are not taken to, 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 to court, people are not taken to police cells. So it's, it's all over, but there are areas where it's, it's, more, um, it's more pronounced. You know, there are critics who say that the government is heavily involved in this, but uh, have you, you know, taken time to indulge with the people who are said to be at the center of all this, which is the police? Yes, uh, we have taken uh, this issue up with the police a number of times. Uh, the, 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 the ministry and the departments are concerned, that are concerned, that's the Ministry of Interior. Uh, but as I had told you, they, they will always not own up. Uh, the other problem that is there that people do not report on time. Uh, people are not able to, 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 to exactly know the people who are behind this because they come very late uh, at night. They come to your house, they pick. These are people who are hooded. You will not be able to see them. Uh, they come with uh, vehicles that have no registration numbers. And if at all they have a re registration numbers, you go to, the, to KRA and you will be, not be able to, to trace uh, uh, such numbers. And of course, any number that is not registered, it's, it's, it's either an illegal uh, registration number or a number that a vehicle that is being use, uh, used by, by, by the security forces. Uh, uh, so it's, it's, it's a bit hard. It's a bit hard for people to be able to track. They will always deny, deny it. We have been able to, to um, uh, engage uh, Haki uh, Africa. They have done a lot of work. You remember what has been happening uh, in the coast. We have been able to engage engage IPOA, there are a number of cases they have brought up, there are a number of um, uh, police officers uh, that have been traced. But the fact of the matter is they will always deny and this problem exists. The line um, on the fight against terror, because, you know, sometimes uh, what the police comes out to say is that this was suspected terror, uh, terrorists who were gunned down at, you know, specific points, whether in the coast or whatever. Um, where do we draw the line, you know, that this is, you know, extrajudicial killing and this is a war on terror? Uh, Betty, Betty, uh, the, uh, terrorists are there. Uh, um, people who are suspected to be to be involved in terror activities are there. But uh, the, the law is very clear. 
that uh, they, they should uh, face the due process of the law. They should be taken to court. Uh, and unless proved otherwise, they cannot just be killed. But uh, the government forces, the government itself that is supposed to be protecting the, the, the law and is supposed to be protecting uh, the citizens, is taking the law it, uh, into its hands. Uh, you remember what happened in, in uh, Mombasa uh, Central Police Station, mm. the young ladies, uh, the, the picture that we were given and what has been happening, uh, what has happened is very clear. We, we, we saw videos of uh, some of them uh, uh, pleading for, you know, uh, to, be, to be spared and they were shot and all. An officer was doing that while they will have taken them to hospital treated them and taken them to court. So mm -hmm. uh, this extrajudicial killing is, is it's something that is a reality is with us and the government, the government is, 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 is fully involved in this. All right. So what next? What is the solution then? Because, I mean, this report that of uh, Haki Africa, you know, it talks about some of these extrajudicial killing, uh, killings. But also, just a few months ago, there was the Human Rights Watch, which also came up with quite a, you know, shocking revelations about extrajudicial killings. But then, you know, what next? What is the next conversation that we should be having? Uh, the next conversation that we should be having is, is number one, is we need to educate our people, uh, we need to educate uh, the, our, the, the masses uh, uh, that they should know uh, and they should uh, report these incidents. Uh, the government should own up uh, mm -hmm. these extrajudicial killings. Uh, the, 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 the police, uh, the national police is, is fully involved in this. Uh, we, should, we should be able to take them to account for this. The government owns it up. The officers are, are, are followed up. Uh, and I think it is basically the government to own up this, the, 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 this problem. That is the only way. Because better I can tell you for now is, as it is, we will just be uh, uh, um, um, uh, fanning you know, extremism, mm. you know, and, 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 and uh, you know, radicalization. If this is because a number of youths have disappeared, uh, this is not a solution. If the youth have disappeared, the other youth who should have been um, uh, good citizens will be looking at this. Uh, a number of them, uh, uh, you, know, you know, because of this, are uh, 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 turning against the government. They are joining these groups, and they will have the reason to join these groups because okay. the government is not looking for the solution to these issues. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Waji West, Member of Parliament there, Abdi Kadir Ore. Uh, uh, speaking to us about uh, this latest Haki Africa report uh, that is going to be highlighting, you know, numbers of uh, Kenyans who have been victims of 